Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at QuickSurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the cool stuff for this episode. Over at Mashable, uh, there's a story, seven ways to stop iOS 7 from killing your iPhone battery. If you're like me and you've got an iPhone 5 or uh, an iPhone 5S, in my case, it's just an iPhone 5, um, if you've upgraded to iOS 7, you'll have noticed that your battery life isn't nearly as good uh, as on iOS 6. And so this is a great way uh, to, to kind of reduce that uh, battery usage um, that largely is unnecessary. Um, you can do a couple of things like this points out background app refresh you can turn off, location tracking apps. Um, the parallax effect uses a humongous amount of battery life. That's one of the first things I shut off. I was like, look, it, number one, it's very, it makes me move. It, it, it's very uh, nauseous inducing, nausea inducing. Uh, and as soon as I turned it off, the number two thing that I noticed is that uh, my battery life improved dramatically. So you can do that uh, automatic updating. You can turn off airdrop. Um, turn down your screen brightness and spotlight uh, also has a few settings that'll allow you to uh, to uh, improve your battery life so anyway definitely check this out if you're an iphone user or an ios user and you have ios 7 it'll it will definitely help uh, with your battery life woes from hack a day this i thought was pretty cool i used to work on cars for a living way back in the day early in my career uh, uh, a 48 cubic centimeter V8 with injection and open source engine control unit. This is pretty cool. There's a YouTube video of this. Basically, this is like a Chevy V8 or a Ford V8. Uh, it's quarter scale. And while well, it's probably a little bit smaller than quarter scale because your standard Chevy small block, at least nowadays or back in the 70s, 80s was 350 cubic inches. So 48 cubic centimeters isn't quite quarter scale but still nonetheless uh there's a video of it running in action it's pretty awesome definitely check it out you know all this is the thing that people don't realize is all of the engine theory that makes big engines work also makes little engines work so pretty cool from coolestgadgets.com the authentic 1966 batmobile can be yours that's right you can, in fact, buy it for um, $200,000. Does anyone have a couple of hundred grand laying around? I'd love to buy this. Um, I still cannot believe my eyes that the folks over at Hamaker Inc. have managed to get a hold of what they have described as the authentic 1966 Batmobile. They've slapped a $200,000 price tag on it along the way. Apparently, the entire ride was so accurate in comparison to the original that it took nearly a year to complete, making it an officially licensed roadworthy replica of the Batmobile that was originally featured in the iconic 1960s TV show. So it's not the Batmobile uh, that was in the TV show, but it is so close to the Batmobile that was in the TV show that it is considered to be an authentic replica. So pretty awesome. Definitely check it out from Gizmodo art wars, 12 stormtrooper helmets get hilarious high art makeovers. I included this. I thought it was awesome. You know, I'm a huge fan of star Wars, a huge fan of star Trek. I like them both. Uh, these <laughs> stormtrooper helmets, some of them are pretty neat. Um, you know, they, they definitely, some of them are, you, you see them and you're like, that's, that's awesome. So, uh, check it out. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, from, uh, cnetsnews.com, Super Mario fully playable online using HTML5. 
full screen Mario gives you the game, but also lets you create your own levels online. You could plug in your old Nintendo Entertainment System. I can't really do that because it's not compatible with my TV anymore. Load up a vintage Super Mario Brothers cartridge and play one of the greatest games of all time. Or you could just pop over, over to full screen Mario and get your fix online. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. The nostalgia is sweet. From makezine.com, they have a cool little blog post here. No Iron Man costume is complete without an arc reactor. If you plan to head out on Halloween as Iron Man this year, or really anytime you dress up, you could be doing cosplay and you, you know, dressed as Tony Stark in an Iron Man suit. Uh, you're going to need an arc reactor to maintain your physiological functions. The folks over at Adafruit have covered, uh, have you covered with their superhero power plant kit. It's designed by Becky Stern. It's based on around the NeoPixel ring and Gemma, whose circular form factors are perfect for this application. And you can use it to channel your inner Tony Stark or simply sport it as a wearable accessory. Now, in addition to that, that one from uh, Adafruit looks pretty awesome. In addition to that, there's a DIY uh, arc reactor from Eric Weinhofer's. Uh, he has built a DIY arc reactor, so definitely give that a, a, a look-see as well. Pretty neat. From Mashable.com, the beginner's guide to YouTube. If you're looking to get on YouTube, this is a great starter on how to how to get on YouTube, how to do your stuff. You know, YouTube's been around for a while, but still, believe it or not, there are people who are who who don't know the ins and outs of posting YouTube videos and how to make a good YouTube video and all that uh, sort of stuff. So this is a great uh, beginner's guide walkthrough. Definitely. Check it out if you're looking to get into YouTube. Uh, that will do it for this edition of the Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. And I have everything linked up in the show notes. So uh, do feel free to head on over there and check that out. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.